How's it going everybody? Um, okay, today I'm going to try to attempt this valve adjustment on the K20A4 Honda CRV that I have. If you haven't seen the previous videos, go back and have a look at them. Or, But this is what the sound sounds like. So with that sound, um, I thought it was camshaft lobe galling or galling, whatever people are saying. And uh, when I took the valve cover off, there was no no signs of camshaft lobe galling. So a few other people have said in the comments that it could be um, valve clearance or piston slap. But I don't think it's piston slap. I think it might be valve clearance, if anything. So I got myself a feeler gauge and I'm going to attempt to do the the valves. So as you can see, I have everything all off here and ready to go. I have my feeler gauge here. Um, I have the spark plugs all taken out and I have a 19 here to be able to turn over the engine so that I can get it up to top dead center. So you can see when I turn this, when I turn my power steering pump 19 socket, or not 19 socket, 19 wrench, it will turn over the the cams. So if I keep doing that and get um, my first uh, my first one here up to top dead center, I can start to adjust the valves. Now the only problem I have with this is that this is the feeler gauge that I have. I could not get a feeler gauge in any of my motor factors. This was the only one I could get on short notice, which if you can see they don't come out, come out if you can see they don't bend really very much at all they there's not much flexibility in them so trying to get them in here is going to be a nightmare for me but I'll do what I can and I'll see what I can get uh, what I can get done but I did have a quick feel around and they don't they don't feel too bad to be honest maybe a little bit tight in one or two of them but but they're not very very loose so I'm going I'm just going to check them out anyway and see what um what clearances they're at and hopefully adjust them to the clearances that is needed right okay so I have my I've turned over my power steering pump Eric the car guy said it's okay so I'm doing it um <clears throat> I've already removed my spark plugs well they're they're loose they're in there still they're still in there but they're loose anyway I've turned her over to get the first one to top dead center and then I've put my feeler gauge in here between the valve and the tappet and trying to see this is in the way right here so trying to make trying to get the the bend in it here so that I can actually drag it without any resistance off the engine cover or engine block and it feels maybe a little bit loose compared to what people are saying so I'm going to just can try to continue on and do whatever I can here with this one and then this one should be easy enough but these ones because the the fuel rail is in the way and um, I do not really want to be taking the fuel rail off the exhausts should be a, a lot easier than the intakes oh yeah also I do not have one of the screwdrivers to go onto the top of this I only have a screwdriver and a 10 mil there is a special one that you can do it with that uh, it sort of screws on and you twist it I don't have one I couldn't get one so I'm just going to use a 10 mil and a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to try and get this sorted right okay I think I have the force one just about done it's um it's very difficult to show you this but yeah I think it's a just about right it just feels like it's getting dragged a slight bit so I think that one is done I'm gonna just maybe adjust it again I think it might be a small bit loose small bit looser than it was when I done it so I'm just gonna adjust this one again anyway right I have it in the second one here and my god it's really hard to get them in it's really hard to just sort of get it like into the gap between the two and um that feels okay as well there's a slight bit of drag I don't think that's significant enough to actually adjust that at all so I think that one is okay as well it's just about right here yeah. just enough drag 
maybe I could do a little bit more but yeah I think it's about okay from what I know anyway I think that's about okay it feels just feels like there's a small little drag off of it it doesn't feel really tight doesn't feel really loose just feels about right so I think I'll leave that one I've, I've actually adjusted the gauge to a slightly different position and it does feel more loose than it did a minute ago so I think I will actually adjust this one uh, it's as I said to you it's very difficult with this part here in the way it's higher than where the valve is so so like if you can see there it's kind of on a it's kind of bent like that just to get in at it so um, yeah so I'm gonna adjust that one I think I have to say it's very difficult when you're when you're trying to tighten it back up with your 10 mil here and hold the screwdriver and hold the screwdriver in place the screwdriver seems to want to turn like this as you're doing it so it is um, it is a little bit awkward because as you're you think you have it perfectly and then as you're tightening it it gets tighter like the screwdriver starts to turn as well so it gets tighter and another thing um, I couldn't find this out online at all um, how much torque do you torque them down to or do you torque them down because I'm trying to break these free here and they're very tight um, so I'm kind of just going back to how tight it was beforehand I'm not torquing them at all because I couldn't find out the torque specs so I'm just kind of putting them back to roughly where I think they should be I'm probably ruining the engine I don't know the cars already ruined anyway so um, yeah I'm just gonna continue on and uh, torque them down to the the torque settings that I have in my head that uh, nobody else knows and I don't even know okay right I've just came to the third one here now and look at the play in this when you see hold on there's there's way too much play in this one like it's it's really really loose I can't really show you it's very difficult to get in here to show you this but yeah this one seems to be very loose so I'm gonna adjust this one and this one seems to be the same just seems to be really loose see how loose that is it's able to just sort of move around without any uh, enforcement by me just so so loose yeah so I'm gonna actually do this one as well right this one is really bad as well so I'll try and get this look how look how loose that is This is very loose as well. So uh, I want to adjust this one now. If you're planning on doing this yourself and you want to get a feeler gauge, make sure you don't get this one because this is not easy with this feeler gauge. There are other ones that are longer and they turn at the end, which is much, much better. Um, I'll try and put an image of what they look like here. But I would, if I was to do this again, I would be buying one of those other feeler gauges rather than this one. This is all I could get at the time so I probably will get another one offline or something like that because my motor factors didn't have any other ones they only had this one so I'm gonna get a another one offline I think okay so I had to take the fuel rail off because I just couldn't get in here at this um, I'm gonna still find it difficult here I don't really want to take this off either but if I have to I will but I just had to take the fuel rail off because it was in the way I'm just adjusting this one here and fuel just decided to spit out of this all over me look it's all over my hand it just went, it just squirted. I didn't touch anything. It just squirted out. Okay, I think I'm finished there now um, on the uh, intake side. So just for anybody that doesn't really know, I'm setting mine for the lowest of 203 millimeters. It, it, it can be from 203 to 254 millimeters, but I'm setting mine to the lowest. And as long as this is able to move underneath there, I know that this is okay. So all my intake side is just done I'm gonna put the fuel rail back on and then I'm gonna start on the exhaust side which is a different um, different gauge right the fuel rail is back on and um, if anybody thought that I did not disconnect the battery I already did I did that at the start of the video if you have a look again but anyway I'm going to go on to the exhaust valve now so I'm gonna to have to sort of get up onto the engine and get into the back of it there but the exhaust valves have to be 254 millimeters 
to 330 millimeters. So again, I'm going for the lowest. And also, if anybody knows why, I have two 54s, one silver and one gold, or brass, whatever, um, gauge. Why? Why are they both the same, but different, but, but the same? I don't get it. Anyway, um, I'm just going to use one, probably the silver one, because I like the gold when I want to leave that one the way it is. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to get up into the engine now and start adjusting these ones. You can see I'm kneeling. I'm kneeling on here so that I can get in so that I can get in at this but this is gonna be very difficult to film so I'll probably just do this on my own and not film any of it Um. anyway my first one is extremely tight there is no movement whatsoever out of it. I don't know if it's just the way it's bent there or whatever but I'm going to try to um, see can I get it to move a little bit more but it's it's very tight where that is now it doesn't even look like it's bent much or anything so I'm assuming that it's just really tight and I need to adjust that one. Right, so I have done whatever I can do. Um, it's not very easy to get in at these and I couldn't film them because it was so difficult to get in. I was kneeling up on this and trying to adjust with one hand while leaning on something and adjusting with the other hand. It's it's not easy. Um, so I have that all done anyway, as much as I could. I didn't find anything really off that much, just a little bit tight here and there. So I'm just gonna put the valve cover back on now all the spark plugs back in and uh, test it out okay so i have it all back together here i wanted to get it back together before the sun goes down it's nearly gone and um, so i just need to put back on my strut brace the battery uh, that's about it so i'm going to start the engine now and see is there any difference whatsoever and then i'll put all this on afterwards but i'm going to start it now and hopefully fingers crossed f fingers fingers crossed hold on we'll get these ones crossed as well no hold on me I can't cross my fingers. Um, fingers crossed. It works. Okay. The moment of truth. We have lights, which is a good sign. Um, let's see. Ready? That's... Is that better? Now it's not better. Uh, that was a waste of a day. Didn't work. Sounds slightly different though. Doesn't sound the same. Anyway, it sounds slightly different. Doesn't sound exactly the same. Sounds maybe some of it is better but some of it isn't i don't know there's still something there anyway the only next thing i can do is just change the spark plugs give it an oil change i don't know we'll see i don't know Now I'm starting to think it sounds like a rod or something is moving around down there. Okay. Anybody any ideas? Uh, it still sounds the same. There's still that same. What I might do now is take off the bottom end uh, sump and take a look and see is there anything loose or the bearings loose or something like that. I might be able to replace the bearings without actually removing the rods or anything like that. I will see. I don't know. I think I'll just do that. I think I'll just have a look, take the, the sump off and take a look inside and see what I see. But. We'll see how that goes anyway. I don't know when I'm going to get to do that, but uh, I thought that would have fixed it today, being honest. Then again, when I was feeling all the valves, they didn't feel like there was much play in them, so I kind of knew it wouldn't fix it. I don't know. I'm tired. Um, I'm going to give up. 
and we'll come back for a different video some other day anyway uh thanks very much for watching please like comment share and subscribe and i'll talk to you in the future sometime okay bye bye this ain't over.